Welcome to My Destination Singapore Kitchen. I'm Chef John C. I'm here at Tikka Market. I'm here to get ingredients to prepare for you a fabulous fish head curry. Follow me. What do we need? We basically need a fish head, a little bit of minced ginger, shallot garlic, a little bit of curry leaf, fish curry powder, turmeric, a little bit of oil, lemon glass, turmeric, white cabbage, pineapple, green lime, chilli, lady fingers and tomatoes. And not to forget also eggplant, some eggplants for the dish. Um, basically, there's actually two stages to do a fish head curry. Okay, the first stage what you need to do is actually the first stage what you need to do is get the fish head that is actually nicely clean and glutted. Okay, if you feel that the fish is you know seem to have a little bit of a stench, you can actually spread a little bit of minced ginger uh, over the fish head. If not, uh, if the fish is fresh, get a pot of hot boiling water onto a big wok, put it into a wok, and then let it steam. Okay, let it steam for around 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes, depends on the size of the head. Okay, the next stage to do, basically get some cooking oil. You need some cooking oil onto your pan. For this, basically what you need to do is fry the shallot first. Okay, fry the shallot until it's actually lightly golden, golden brown or until there's a nice fragrance that comes out from it. Okay, lightly fry it. Okay, keep stirring, stirring it from time to time. This is actually to prevent the shallot from sticking to the pan. Okay, if your pan is actually hot enough and you, you keep stirring it, chances of sticking is actually not high. When you see the shallot turns a slight peel in colour and also it starts to soften, this is the time whereby you can put in some ginger. Okay, half the amount will do. Okay, after frying for a minute or so, in your garlics. Okay, this will take a while, but if you do make an effort to actually fry all your onion, garlic, and ginger well, okay, what you actually will reward you is that your curry will be actually sweet and fragrant. Okay, once the onion, garlic, and ginger has been fried to fragrant like this, okay, no, not burnt or char, but a very, very nice sweet fragrance. A little bit of turmeric powder. Okay. A little bit of fish curry powder. This is actually very important. Whenever you're doing a fish egg curry, do remember that the powder has to be fried for at least, you know, for three to five minutes on the stove. Okay, at low heat. Okay, this is to get away the 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 nasty bitter taste from the powder. And it also will bring out the sweetness of the fragrance of the curry powder. Okay, this is done. A little bit of lemon glass. To go in. Keep on frying it. A little bit of red chilli to give you colour fragrance. And a little bit of punch. Okay, and then curry leaf. Okay, very important whenever you're actually using curry leaf, do remember to actually smash it. Okay, you smash it. The more you smash it, the better the fragrance, okay? Do remember to smash it. A little bit more cooking oil. Okay, and then we add in a little of water, okay? To brace up the mix. Okay, bring this to a boil. Very fragrant. Let's cover it and let it boil up. Should be very nice by now. Okay. Then as the car the fish egg gravy is actually brewing, do check on your fish egg also. Wow. Okay. Find one of the thickest point. Okay, with meat. Just poke your chopstick into it. It should go in easily. Okay, if the chopstick is able to go in very easily into the meat, basically what that tells you, your meat is actually cooked. Okay, so this is done. We just off the heat and then cover it. Keep it warm. So the gravy, coming back to the gravy, what you actually will need is you need some white cabbage. Okay, so I'm throw some white cabbage onto 
the gravy a little bit of lady's fingers a few numbers of tomatoes into it and then one number of eggplant okay very nice and colorful and then this is one of my family traditional back home we always put pineapple into our fish head curry that give you a little bit of sweetness and sweetness taste and a fruity feel to it okay and then this is actually the turmeric turmeric juice turmeric that we have previously and then just put a bit of warm water and then you only want the juice of this okay a little bit of turmeric And then a little bit of green lime juice into it. Almost done. Four vegetables and some nice gravy. Add a little bit more water. Okay, let it boil up. Let the vegetable cook partially. Once the vegetable is cooked partially, we're going to put the fish head into the fish head gravy. Lastly, okay, to finish off the dish, we will actually finish off with a little bit of coconut cream. We have coconut cream to actually finish off the dish. Now for the hero of the show. Do remember, when you are actually steaming a fish head, never let the juice of the fish, you know, the excess juice of the fish goes into the gravy. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Get a spoon, lightly, linger the gravy over the fish. Okay, let it infuse into the stalks. Okay, just before a pinch of sugar, some salt. Okay, let's cover it and let it boil up. The moment it boils up, okay, uh, let it simmer for around one or two minutes. Once it's boiled up, it's ready to be eaten. Okay, after I actually lightly braise it in the gravy, okay. For around two to three minutes or one or two to three minutes once you see the gravy start to bubble that is time when the gravy the fish egg curry is actually ready okay okay that's off the heat now okay let's bring this big fella out oh here you go oh my god So this is how we actually do our Singapore fish head curry. 